worship of your covenant of sin. The worship of my God never will come. The worship of that situation will change. If you worship God, you will experience a miracle. That's why the worship, true worship, must be born again. Can't be born again because you can't worship God. No God without being born again. For that was born of spirit is spirit, and that was born of flesh is flesh. More than not that I say that the that I must be born again. Yes, I need to be rebuilt if I'm going to worship God. I need to be born again and I need a transformation to take place in my mind. Because Paul says in Luke chapter 7, it's with the mind that we serve the law of God. So if my mind is right, my service is not right. This is why we struggle with worship because we are trying to do it by ourselves when worship has been designed by God to move them. Amen. That the spirit has been controlled in worship. That means I got to have the spirit of the worship of each other. When I start to worship, amen, it is not based on what I feel or what I see because worship is not about the rule of you see, you know, I have everything to do with what you know. I know that my God is a great and awesome God, so I'm going to worship him. I know that my God will not put more on me than I can bear, so I can worship him. I know my God is a help, is a present help in times of trouble. So when trouble comes, I'm going to be afraid I don't worship him. Because I know God will come on the scene of Mama or somebody. Amen. So worship of everything to do with what you know and not what you memorize. We have a lot of people that's memorized.